So you were talking, mm -hmm. uh, Pastor David, about the subject, which is like we're going to be underground the church, yeah. right? And everyone will be tested, like you have this, yeah. you deny Christ, yes. right? Mm -hmm. So you probably didn't see what the Russians did or the Hitler, whatever, all those old things mm -hmm. done in the past. Mm -hmm. Problem is, this is the first degree torturing or, mm -hmm. or is higher. You know what's higher? Mm -hmm. Well, they're going to come and talk to you about your family. You do this or your family. And this is here the real problem. Because you say, okay, I go. I will never deny Christ no matter what. My faith in Christ is more important. That's eternal life and I'm not going to lose it for whatever. For no one. But when it comes to, to show you see, your, the picture of your son or your daughter or your wife and I say, you have a beautiful family. And uh, what a waste, you know, like uh, what's going to happen to them. That's the real test of faith. So what do you think, guys, is going to happen? I was asking Emil, I told you, you know, mm -hmm. Pastor David, in the, you know, if they come and enter on your villa now and say, this is the bullet, what you've done the night. In the beginning, you were saying, no, 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 no. And in the end, no, I follow Christ. Oh, follow. So all of us have to know these things because we are more than the Middle East into the, the discrimination of the law and, and imprisoning people, whatever. Mm -hmm. You imagine in a uh, guy took a, a tear in prison in, in England because he preached that God created them on his likeness, man mm. and a woman. Mm. He went to prison because of the homosexual activities over there. Prison. So we're not joking now. Mm -hmm. So when they come and say, your family, what do you think going to do? Especially the ones who have uh, children. Okay. What would you do? Anyone? Maybe. I'll follow Jesus. I'll follow Jesus and you pray. So if they're going to say you don't do that to us, whatever, you don't change your uh, religion or you stop doing uh, Jesus things, or you're going to kill your children or your family or your... Kill them. They show your wife you're... Kill because them? Because this life is like a snippet and your children are going to go to heaven because the kingdom of God is there. So kill you're going to them? meet them together. What if... It's not like, easy, though. Okay, you can kill me, but let me pray for you first. Let me do this for you because that will honor my father to do that for you because he did it for me on the cross. Then you can give me because I'll be happy to go with him. No, well, you didn't get it. I'm saying if they uh, tell you it's if you do not deny, we're taking your family. I'm going to kill your family or whatever. So what do you think, sense. Pastor Alfie? Mm -hmm. Alfie, by the way, he's ordained. So <laughs> I <laughs> just, <laughs> sorry, don't honor you enough, but what do you think? Huh? Um, kill me with them. No, well, the, the torturing thing is uh, to to let you see this happening. Let the Christians see this happening. So you have to be prepared for all uh, terrible yeah. things, mm -hmm. and it's already happening in the past. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember when I don't know how I was young. I was very young, and I get a book like that from mm -hmm. someone, American book. Mm. about this lady she was in the communist country and uh, she was christian mm. and they start you know to the movement of the communist and whatever in the churches that you have to put the things you know so you deny christ in front of, and then she didn't want to do that so she was training herself how she gonna live in the prison mm -hmm. so like really depriving herself of food and stuff and mm -hmm and get the minimal and things like that mm. because it's going to happen to us in the beginning we're going to see only the beginning of the sorrow pain but god will have mercy on us and he will leave Jesus. but what happened uh, this is a real story from egypt mm. and i always i put myself into that mood the only thing that i will regret that i don't have is my body you take it from me you take my my soul better and for your sons, you know, as long as they know the Christ, because the dearest thing for you is your son or your daughter. Mm -hmm. uh, there is people in Egypt, you know, not that far, maybe a year ago or two years ago, they took them and they said, all right, if you don't do that, you're going to kill the children in front of you. So they denied their faith. But they lost the children too. <laughs> you know? So if your child is in God, no, no. Live or die. 
uh, Egypt is the, la the, the land of, the, call it the martyr, you know, mm -hmm. every uh, blood was shed on this land for being Christian. Not many Christian in uh, the Middle East, Egypt is one of them. Mm -hmm. And they're very solid in their faith, you know, they come every time, you know, people from Middle East and say, you guys have a little bit of different taste and different meaning for the word of God through you. You know, so who will face it? Now, I want to show you this because we talked about it last time. I wanted to do a bit of review to see if we really have um, the knowledge of what we said or not. So wisdom of God, show us your word. And uh, we're talking about the word of God. How much of word of God should we be doing every day? Oh. <laughs> huh? mm -hmm. And this word which I command you this day shall be in your heart and you shall teach them diligently to your children mm -hmm. and shall talk of them. You sit, when you sit on your house, when mm -hmm. you walk, when you uh, uh, by the way, mm -hmm. and when you lie down, and when you rise up. It means all the time. <laughs> There's no other way. And, and this is my best verse. Is, um, so set your heart unto all these words which I testify among you this day, mm -hmm. which you shall command your children to observe it. What, are, what you put your heart on those words? All the words of this law. The law of God is the way that he managed the word, you know? And he said, because it is your life. I want this to be really deep in you, Deuteronomy 32. You treasure the word of God in your heart because it is your life. It is your life. It is your life. And he said that the righteousness, the righteous which is of the law, that the man shall live by them. So this is law. It's not for you when uh, he's telling you if you put your hand in the fire, you're going to burn your hand. Is this like too much? He's asked, put your hand in the fire, you're going to be burned. It's automatic. So the law of God is mathematics, is logic. It's not like, oh yeah, you have to obey me. No. No, that's not the way. It's rules. You, you hit yourself from, you throw yourself from the mountain, you fall, you're going to break the neck. No, the gravity law is in there. You believe in it or not, it doesn't matter. You're going to be applied. So that's exactly the word of the law, the word of God. Mm -hmm. And, and, and you can I treasure it because it's your life. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm just taking those pictures for you guys so you see how the Jew was practicing this literal. So see this guy on the top, he's putting it here. Mm -hmm. That's uh, the things here with the, uh, the belts. They put, you know, the word of God here between their eyes as the word saying, here. And they wrap it. So he has one on the top. Can you see it? Yes, please. And mm -hmm. then this one here, this is on his head. Yes. Right? Can you see that? Yes. Did you figure it out? Okay. And then on his hand, you see how he wrapped it to the child around his hand? Yes. Oh. I talk about that few times, but uh, like this, mm. you know? So it's exactly like they, it's written in the word. Mm. Do you like this one? When the word is penetrating you? Absolutely. It's changing your heart? Thank okay. you. Thank but you. how this come first? The word of God should enter into your intellect, your understanding. You understand the things that you understood. No one can take them from you. You know. So it, and then it go and change the DNA. Like remember when you said the DNA can be changed to the word that you heard. Mm -hmm. And these are, he sent forth his word and changed them and he's and healed them and he healed them and he. So he sent his word and you get healed by the word of God, which is the word of God in front of you. So you start to treasure it, you start to put it in your head. And when you have a book like that, all you have is Bible like me. You don't know what is except the Bible. And people think you're crazy. Yes. But we said, you know, we said the story of, because you were not with us last time, the, sorry. We said, you know, there's too much of the Bible can be, make you crazy. This is a story of Saul, uh, Shaul. Paul, the apostle, he was bring in front of Agrippa, the, uh, the, the king, mm -hmm. and he was talking about his situation, and he said, I'd love you to be like me, and I said, 
Oh, the book, the book make you so crazy. Mm -hmm. So, make you crazy in the eyes of people. Mm -hmm. Are you crazy? Mm -hmm. You know, my, my family was always telling <laughs> my, my brother, like, really, she's too much of whatever. <laughs> you be too much. Mm -hmm. There is no too less. And the word penetrates in your heart. So we start to talk about the marriage last time. So the divine law of love. And, and, and um, here is the word of God, how he sees us. Can you read, please? It's a bridegroom rejoices over his bride. As will you, your God rejoice over you. Hallelujah. How beautiful it is. Mm. Yes. How oh, some one human being reached oh, to write such a word? <laughs> Tell me there is any word that you can, in poetry, that you can write or I can, <laughs> beautiful as this. Yeah. What is this crazy Isaiah? Oh. He was crazy. He wrote beautiful word and, and David. And you know what? That's the Lord want us to talk to him or preach him that way. That's why we need to sing a few of the, <laughs> the songs. It's the taste of God. This is the word that he wants us to tell him. Wow. Yeah, I, I, I uh, played a lot of songs in Arabic with that special harp and I was missing two chords because they were changing the words, so I make that up. Anyway, so Tanya, yeah. read um, if you can. If it's read not it. too small. Um, for, since the for since the beginning of the world, men have not heard nor perceived by the ear, neither have the eyes seen, O God, beside thee, what he has prepared for him that waits for him. Can we sing this one? Sure. Yalla, go with your tune. Who cares? They don't see you. <laughs> Pastor David, you're the musician. <laughs> We're gonna practice that next time without camera or should we do this? Because this is one of my songs, I make them songs. Okay. So this is what you do. You take a Bible verse like that and start to sing it. And da, 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 few times you learn it by heart. Huh? Sing it, Tanya. It doesn't matter. You can make it fast, you can make it slow, you can make it uh, repeated, whatever you like. The idea is that you keep repeating it for yourself until it enters this. When it enters this, Click, finish. Mm -hmm. The devil is a liar mm -hmm. and he lies here mm -hmm. and those yes. lies should go. Mm -hmm. yeah. When yeah. the word yeah. of God yeah. occupy yes. that place and then it fall inside of you, different yes. man yeah. mm -hmm. and different woman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. So here is the story. Uh, like I said last time, if there is one plan and that plan is for God, this is the marriage. And we talk about that last time. I'm gonna repeat quickly. Jesus is uh, the groom. He's not here the king, he's the groom. In our weddings, the men wear a crown like that and he get a robe, which is golden robe. Uh, I'll show you pictures of Amir later. Uh, and then the wife have, again, you know, they put a crown over her head. Mm -hmm. She's the queen, he's the mm -hmm. And both of them wearing golden oh, robe. Yeah. And then they put them together head to head and then she had her beautiful white dress behind. Oh la la, this is mm -hmm. life. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? And the priest put the two heads together and say, electricity go. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. this is what happened here. The electricity go from the positive to the negative and da 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 da. da, 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 da. And, and change <laughs> Change the makeup. Of. <laughs> My husband said to me, why is he come out that this? <laughs> Unmarried people, mm -hmm. I said, because they need to know before marriage. It's, it's Here is you the part. It? Oh, wow. You, Misha. <laughs> gonna, you get to me. It's gonna be a piece of the mind. Come on, Misha. <laughs> Misha, I don't know what I'm gonna do with you. This is a bad picture, but it's good. This is mm. here, the, the bride. Mm. She's hurting. And part of them are in the prison. Mm. And here is the father, you know, like taping for his bride, you know. So this is a description exactly of what the church is on these days. Mm. The pain of the bride and the father is there and he feel her pain. Feel the pain.
some of that gonna set in the prison, some gonna be killed, some gonna be burned. I don't know what they're gonna do with us, but our ancestors, every one of the children of God has a family that they, they've been tortured. Is she just like longing for that? Uh, the, 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 the picture is that the showing that she is not seeing him. Mm. That's the beauty. Mm. He's behind her. Can you see that? Mm. Yeah. She don't know that he's here. Mm. I like that. See, and you told us he is here, he's Emmanuel, he's busy. Mm. She don't know that he's here. She's suffering alone and she thinks her suffering. Oh. God bless that room. <laughs> don't you like this? Mm. I love it. And in the prison. Mm. Right. Put his hand and he's thinking of his plan. They can't do that to my bride. Mm. Very protective. You like it? How about this one now? What this bride should do? Ooh, she don't fight, 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 no, fight, no, don't fight. Me, fight, 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 the good I'm fight. My she has a sword, she has the word of God in her hand. That's her power. Wow. The sword, she's gonna fight, fight, fight. Right, anyone is aware of this one? Do you know this one? Read it. You shall, can you see it? Sure. Shall be no more turned or called forsaken. And your land shall never be called Hafsiba, desolate. But you shall be called my delight. Is in her, your land is married to the Lord. The light, I don't know what is this. Your land shall be married. Re, read the other one, your Hafsiba, Hafsiba, the light, Ba'ula, married, righteous, salvation, glory, splendor, royal. This is a Bible verse in Isaiah. Isaiah 62, 4. You're not going to be called Hafsiba anymore or desolate. You're going to be called the Ba'ula. Ba'ula, it means the wife of a husband. Ba'ula, it means husband. Ba'ula, it means the wife of a husband. So people take this for their personal comfort. But of course, he's talking here about Jerusalem. He's talking about his children. You know that this land will never be again desolate or... This is the land going to marry the Lord. All right. So who will be productive, you know, like... Um, and uh, the king, be, the Lord is showing his compassion to his uh, child. So where are we from the beginning? Because this is... Yes, Lord. That's, what that's I'm not what I want for. to say. Because these people miss this. So, in, in, in a short of the people who were not with us, can you tell them about this story? Misha, Alfi, remember this was last time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember this one? Yeah, this is um, Jesus marrying them. Yes. This is Jesus who do the marriage. This is Jesus who give the communion. This is Jesus who do the baptism. This is Jesus who do all those sacraments, anoint and all this. When you ordain, this is Jesus who's yeah. ordaining you. I don't want you to forget the priest because he's just like a tool, whatever. Mm -hmm. If Jesus do not put them together, so no man can separate. It's him who doing the joining together. And the reason of the wedding is, or the marriage is to be pro, pro creative unity. Yes, yes. and unity, purpose of God. It's like the whole world being united. In like not the whole world, but together, man and wife. We uh, said that a man and wife were one flesh. Yeah. She was really literally taken out of his rib. Yeah. But then the sin that when they fall, it was no more together. They were mm. separate. Mm. But God designed the marriage to put them back together. They were not married in the garden. Mm. Mm. So you're saying it'd be like Adam and Eve finally get there happily ever after? Yes, the there'd be one. unity. Finally. He said there will be like no one more flesh, but there'd be one. Okay. Means like I, I pinch you. Your husband mm. say I. That's the same thing. Love they it. should be like that way. We try with that. <laughs> <laughs> Pincher, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. So th to make you know that um, union again. Okay. Mm. Okay. So it's gonna be a bit. I'm taking down details. Yeah. <laughs> they wear one flesh. But because of the sin, there were no more. There were not one flesh. In the uh, secret sacrament of marriage, there will become one flesh. 
and uh, here is another one beautiful love that one one of you is gonna comment because this for you is repetition i love it so is this the same picture as the first one no no what is the difference uh, come on Elfie, I'm gonna come. <laughs> the father is joining jesus and the bride yes so this picture is different from the first but one she's pregnant is she not pregnant she can't be before they're married oh. <laughs> <laughs> sorry not to the woman maybe she's we don't have that <laughs> christian don't have me. for us she's pregnant kill her kill her all right all right this picture now is the father marrying Jesus to the bride. Beautiful. Come on, Nisha. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> I should try to, try to preach twice. No, 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 no. I yes. Something else. Don't worry. Because you said divorce is a never. But remember, I just uh, Mary and Joseph, and he was going to divorce her privately because she thought that she committed adultery. Right. So like, even. Even if she's pregnant. Yeah, so like, so it's a bit off topic, so we'll, I'll bring it up when we cover it. Alright, All right. don't say. go out of topic yeah, yeah. because it didn't start yet. <laughs> yes, 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 sorry. <laughs> but did you get this picture? This is now different from the first one. First one is about the unity of the two flesh and they become one. This is the, the uh, I don't know the word, the astronomy, whatever, you're gonna find it. Huh? The when they put them together and they become again restored to the unity that God created them, one flesh. Yes. This is in the marriage. This one didn't happen yet. This is the father marrying Jesus to the bride. Mm. The father, this picture was million dollars. You will not find it anywhere. Mm. I've never seen such picture. This is the father, mm. God marrying Jesus. So that sweet groom here is Jesus. Mm. And this sweet girl is the bride. Mm. This is us. Mm. And this is the first time we're going to be united to the, the, the Trinity. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and you can see like uh, they comment the Holy Spirit is in there. There are the three in one. We are a model of two in one. But two in one will never stand. There will always be problem. Mm, it will never work. Uh, it's a bit of uh, outside the, the things, but I'll give you an example. Like you say, uh, the light and the darkness, are they two? Are they opposite to each other? Yes. They're not. Yeah. They're not. Like you say the yeah. devil and God, are they opposite to each other? Yeah. They're not. I, I'll okay. talk about that before. Angel, uh, uh, Michael, or whatever, he's on the same level yeah. as Satan. So you cannot say God and the devil. They're not on the same level. Mm -hmm. There is God and there is no God, if you want to put opposites. Yeah, there's no, there's no there is light and there is absence of light. This is opposite. You see that? Absence light of light. and absence of light. Because darkness is no substance in it. You know? But we, because we don't understand things, that call it the duality. This is the religion of the devil. It cannot stand. That's why Trini Trinity is important. And all the sideway Christianity who take, or they call themselves Christian, and take the triune or Trinity outside of the equation, they're done. This is exactly the devil religion. We can go about that another time if you want. I have more slides to show you. But what I'm trying here to say, this unity of the flesh cannot stand mm. without being triune. Mm. So if you don't put Jesus in the middle, this marriage is going to be da, da, ji, da, do da, like that. All the time. For that reason, the man oh, shall I leave his mother and father, <laughs> his father and mother. And be joined to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. So yeah, that's the marriage, and Jesus putting them and make them one. Why it isn't you? He has a good man like, prepared for you. That you me. in time. In time, in the fullness of When time. you're ready, when he's ready. I keep seeing him everywhere though. I'm like, oh. There's a beautiful man that you everywhere do not know. Know that he's coming. Even in the city, there's like I'm sitting there watching the hallway, and then it's like the bright. Oh, like, everywhere there is like a bright and green. Isn't it that beautiful bride and groom? Of course, I love it. I'm yeah. Like... <laughs> One day. I'm like, God, what in the world are you It will come, Tanya. Just for this time. And we'll be part of it. You know what the word is saying? In his 
time. Okay. It will make everything beautiful in and your life. In his you time. In his time. But he already does want the fairy tale. He say everything. In his time, he uh, what's the English word for it? Fasten. When the things, we, yeah, I don't know the uh, in Arabic. Fi wakti usra obi. Make it fast. It's not gonna be slow. When the time of God will come. And and I hate that wait. That was one of my enemy things when I was younger. I don't yeah, like waiting. I don't like waiting. I don't like. And he tortured me with this. He tortured me, God, with this. You're missing him. He's looking for you, and they will find you. So you have to cook well, like <laughs> that needed. <it. laughs> so he is restoring back the oneness, male and female, one flesh. You're angry with him, you too. I'm very angry with him. I'm very angry with you. He set us against you. All of us are against you now. I have heaven's armor behind me. Saturday. Anytime, just read all those two. This is the greatest love story. I yeah, read it happily. Enjoy it. Therefore, because a man shall leave his father, father and mother. <laughs> yeah. And all fast to his wife. Yes. They shall become one, one flesh. flesh. Um, the Lord, I forgot to tell him where I live, so like, where is they're not one spirit. Because you and the Lord want we spirit. Have patience. <laughs> Okay. Like Thank Don't God there were only one flesh. Thank God that we're only one flesh. He will not see one spirit. Hey, Pastor David. Do you want to be one spirit with your wife? <laughs> Miserable God. <laughs> Can you pray for Tanya, please? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. All good. <laughs> I'm just after, after. The word no, no, will I wash you. I trust God. I know He knows all my requests. Tanya, the word would wash you, wash your heart and your mind. I tell Him every day. Every I believe day. that the word of God brings mm. the presence of the Holy Spirit. Like, no, and, not uh, Him. No. <laughs> Father, just bring no. Him. Father, I was In waiting, waiting patiently Jesus. until In I was not able Jesus. to do it anymore. I'm fine. And thank you for this you. coming. Really, I love this. Event and I pray for my Everyone. single family okay. here. They're all I'm gonna so be married. Uh, we will attend their marriage as well and we will enjoy. God will bring you a man. Yeah. Like Adam. <laughs> yes. Like Adam. Oh, he has to prepare like him. Maybe he's not prepared. Yeah, you're Adam, over Adam prepared. Is training. You know what happens in the garden? Be patient. God Why he's not ready? Me. He's not ready, Tanya. If you're too ready, he's <laughs> not ready. He was still young. <laughs> yes. Yes, you oh, are. Gosh. It's all right, Sarah. Moving on, 60. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Change the topic. <laughs> right. So oh, what was beautiful. beautiful about this picture? Now, you remember? Mm -hmm. Do you remember? Jesus opened oh. the door. Yes, and? <laughs> That's the uh, yeah. thing. What is the thing? The altar? Word. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Protestant <laughs> don't see the altar. <laughs> The altar faster? Yes, please. Well, yeah. Yeah. yeah, without altar. He's taking them to the in altar for the sacrifice where Jesus, Jesus is. That's the place in your house when you mm -hmm. get a real link with the Lord, that triune. So you pray together for your difficulties, for your finances, for your life, for everyday bread. You honor God together, read the word together, do whatever possible mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Them, yeah. One of the things which so, I love about our business that we live day by day, so we have to pray together for this every day. Daily bread. Yeah, and the children and the protection and all that. Yes. So before then, you know, probably we could miss it because we have salaries. So who cares? This is when you live by faith, and it's exciting, guys. This is my my design. Can you want any one of you describe it? Probably less easy. Yeah. yeah. Well, one one say one, the other say the other. Yalla. You got left. Faster, Alfie. 
so these two, the the woman and the man, they have Jesus in them, and then the okay, to the right side. So this picture which I created, it's not a picture that I got. I just put Jesus inside the man, Jesus inside the, the woman, the, woman, the yes. groom, and the bride. Mm -hmm. And now there is a difference on this unity. What will happen, Mister? We were saying that then they become in Jesus. They become in Jesus. And we're asking, you know, which one is, this is the oneness with Christ. This is here the trini uh, triune, the trinity. Mm -hmm. When this is here, unbreakable, the three core, unbreakable, they cannot break. Yes. A relationship based on Christ, Amen. hallelujah. Amen. So that's the content. You huh? have to have Jesus in your face. Yes. I, I yeah. know I have him. I have him. <laughs> Jesus but what if you have one yeah, without Christ in him? <laughs> because oh, really? yes. so you can find he hasn't him. accepted any right. guy yet. <laughs> Make up your mind. <laughs> I don't, I'm very like that. I'm, I know you just like really, really good. Emmanuel. And all Emmanuel. of us, but I'm very Amen. trusting in that. What happened if Christ is not in the in one or the other, like the picture we show? Of course, this is an ideal, you know. How many of the church people that you know have that unity in Christ or have Christ in in, in both of the couples? Mm. The cross is in the middle, you see. Is that uh -huh. if they're not in unity? So yeah, there. Everyone is picture. upset. Do you know? You want to see the picture who was behind? Because this is me. Yeah. Create my own picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Who is that? That's Adam. Was that the first Adam? <laughs> no, that was not. I don't know. I was. I'm just picking up. Sorry, Adam. I'll make up my later. pictures, you know, mm. yeah, to make really the point, point, you know. You call it out, Christ. It's Christ's. I wish I knew how to draw, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, I really don't know how to draw well, so otherwise I will uh, do my own. But the question if one is in Christ and the other, we want to read this one because this is very important, especially for men and women. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Marriage is honorable in yes. all, and the bed undefiled, but warmongers <laughs> and adulterers go to church. Marriage should be honored by all, and the marriage bed mm -hmm. kept pure. This mean like no yeah. fornication, no other one fornication, mm -hmm. one adultery. I don't know which of which you guys probably know. There is no such thing into the marriage. No way. So your bed should be pure. Yeah, how are you going to keep bed to undefiled? Huh? How are you going to keep your bed pure? You and your wife. Undefiled no, means no, like there is no fornication. No is it fornication? No for no adultery. Adultery. All right. No, 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 no other woman yeah. except your wife, no other man except your husband. Mm. Simple. All right? And if you have... Mm. <laughs> what is it? All imagination and stuff not ah, good. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to speak about that in the other subject. Mm. That means like blow them, you know, like... Everyone can have imagination, you know, yeah. like really, especially men, God help them with this. Mm -hmm. And I feel sorry for them because it's very active and they can. Uh, and the problem is, you know what's the problem? It's not the imagination. The problem is Jesus make them as adulterers. Mm -hmm. Right? Any man who uh, think of a lady, whatever, he, he make, uh, yeah. Yeah. say the word, what is it? Anyone who thinks... <coughs> As if he commit adultery yeah, with her. In the mind, yeah. Who looks at the woman with the lust? Lust. Yeah. yeah. He look at her with lust. Mm. How many men look with lust to women? Oops. Now the problem is women look at the lust. This was probably not in the past, but now they are. When men do, you know, like <laughs> bold builder and, and stuff like that. So they make themselves in a place where women only were uh, into that place. But... Mm. So this is here when we're talking about that question, and it's on the, the Peter, the book of Peter. Hmm. Misha, can you read for us? Because you're not here. Um, that, uh, the book of Peter is talking to us about when the relationship is not that good. Hmm. We wanted to have a marriage which honor God. Hmm. 
was that we, the, the bed should be really pure. Means no fornication, no adultery, no imagination, no nothing of this. And if you do have, we're gonna talk about that subject a little bit later. <coughs> Uh, because we're human, you know, so mm -hmm. we, we don't cover for our sins. We confess them, we fight them the good fight, yeah. we bring them to God, yeah. and we acknowledge, first of all, their lies. Mm -hmm. And you don't dwell in this, because it can attack you into your dream. Tell me if it attack you in a dream. Why is the problem then? Yeah, but is it like sin or it's not sin? sin. Is it sin, young man? Not sin? Mm -hmm. No. Not sin. I wouldn't say sin, but it doesn't have Daphne? Mm. Huh? Meisha? I think it's just byproduct of your corrupted flesh. Sin or not sin? I'm like, I'm if you have the last sense. one you sleep. Oh, no, that's definitely. Okay, man, man, man. The man. Even if you think he was something of another. Sin. Already. It's the big. So you said it's not sin? No, I said it's sin. It's sin? Yeah. It's a horrible yeah. sin. Yeah. It's the most horrible sin yeah. that can happen to you. When you start to have those things, when you see, wake yourself, don't continue. But I'm not imagining it. It's You're not imagining it. This is an attack of devil yeah. on you and yeah. can be sexual relationship as the one who happened on Genesis 6. It's not jokes. Wake yourself. Yeah. Don't continue. Yeah. Yeah. Don't continue in that dream or whatever mm -hmm. in the beginning is not your uh you didn't originate that but they come and and want okay. to defile you as a man or as a woman yeah. Yeah. you yeah. wake yourself no go wash your head no yeah. not me yeah. 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 Did, did i make it clear yes am i too yeah. rough it, that's how you should be when it comes to things like this. You All right, be because I don't know anyone yeah, preach about this, but I was saying that to my sons because I had two young men and I was telling, no, this is the biggest thing. This is the devil trying to take, make sexual relationship with human being. And it happened before with the Genesis 6. It happened. It happens to me. I, I, it happened to everyone. Like to but in the beginning, you say no. In the beginning, you could be um, no, before, unaware. Before I used to indulge in it, like you know, I'm not aware, you know, because this is like a dream. You it's know? a dream. And um, when I already came to know Jesus Christ, I believe that the Holy Spirit is always, you know, stopping it because I don't have any control with my, you know, with what's happening whenever we sleep. That's what I noticed. It's still, it's still. You do have continue. control. Yeah. Because in a certain uh, time or whatever, there is, sh there should be consignment or yeah. approval from you. Without yeah. approval, it's not gonna happen. Yeah. So that approval, when you're between sleep and, and you said no, not me, not me, never me, yeah. never me. I am holy. I'm designed to be only a temper for the Holy Ghost, for the Lord. Mm. Is the only one who can come and dwell in my body. It's a tomb. So on the time of Noah, mm. where all the people defiled, mm. yes, the there was only Noah. one flesh left. Mm. Yeah. Ham, Shem, and Noah. And his three sons. Yeah, his three sons, yeah. because he was not defiled. All mm. right? Mm. So that's not joke. Because in the end, the time of the end, the, the horrible things that are going to happen to humanity is beyond. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we don't yeah. take it lightly. Yeah. And I'm not bold enough to, to, to talk in front of men or young men about those things. Mm -hmm. But forgive me, love me in the Lord, listen to what I'm saying, ready the word. Mm -hmm. And if I was too intimidating for you, I'm sorry. But uh, we talk about marriage and we're going to talk more about what's the marriage one is not right. Now, uh, we mm. did that, so there is the Peter, 1 Peter 3, the beginning, you read the whole uh, chapter, but I took the first verse and the last one, you read in the middle. First one is for women, last one for men. Mm. Who want to say the first one? Tanya. Um, likewise, you wives. Oh, should I be doing your work? Okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, likewise, right. you wives, be in subjection to your own husbands. That if any obey not the word, they also any do. obey not the word means they do not obey the word. Mm -hmm. This is the King James conversion. They also so if you're married to a husband yeah. and he is not following God, 
is not obeying the word of God. He don't have the picture we have, Christ in him. Huh? So what you should do now? Because this happened. He can tell you, I'm a Christian, whatever, and he is just totally in his own self-life. What you should do? There is no way out, Tanya. There is no way out of marriage, Tanya. So what you should do if you have a man who is not in the word? Win the marriage one by the conversation of the wife. Yeah. What is it? Yeah. Let's say they This is very bad English word. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you the Arabic version what he said. He said to the women to be um, uh, submitted to their husband and if someone um, they don't obey the word um, by the good report or the good uh, life that the woman is doing, she will win her husband. You will win your husband by your good conduct. You continue to serve him, love him in the Lord and because of the unity of the flesh. My husband is part of me. I cannot be in heaven without him. So either you threw me into the hell or you take him with me in heaven. Choose whatever you want, God. What God put together, no man can separate. This is powerful prayer. No woman should lose her husband. No, no way. But you may suffer. But how are you going to win him? But the good report of the wife. Mm -hmm. By your good report. You continue to... You continue to abuse you, you continue to say, okay. I love you. Huh? I love you, I pray for you. No, you don't say I love you. You get angry and let them hit your head on the wall and cry. But on the same time, you know, whatever. <laughs> it's not easy. Where does, where does it say in the word that a, a wife can't go to heaven if her husband isn't of faith? Why? Because it doesn't, where does it say that? What? Oh, maybe I misunderstood you, but I didn't my say question that. is. I said that's the type of prayer. No, but my question is, maybe. maybe I misunderstood, but my question is, does it say somewhere in the Bible, where does it say in the Bible that a woman won't go to heaven because of her faith in Jesus, because her husband doesn't want to believe? Where does it say that? I don't know. Oh, did you say that? No, no, no. 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 I'm, no. I'm Sorry, just saying it's by the good report. The you are really not focusing. I don't know where you think. Focus a little bit, Misha. What I said here, the word in Arabic, because mm. it's more uh, meat. Your English is soft language. I say, but the good report of the wife, she will win her husband. Mm. So in English, read it now. So they uh, also may, without the word, be won. So you will want the husband by the conversation, conversation of the wives. I don't know what's conversation here. I don't know your language. You should change it. No. Let's yeah, see. That's, um, try Peter another Zero. version. Let's try another version. Let's see. All right. Try other version. First Peter. First Peter. Peter. Three. First Peter. Three. Right. Go for compare. Verse we have one. All of them. Oh. Ah, yeah. This is better in Darby. They may be gained without the word by again conversation. I don't know. Conversation okay. in Arabic it means by the good report or oh, the good yeah. manner or the good way or English. the good life. Standard version. Yeah, read it. Likewise, wives be subject to your own husbands so that even Contact. if some do not obey the word, they may be one without a word by the conduct of their Contact. wife. Contact. Conduct of French their word. wife. The mm. conduct of their wife. The behavior. Conduct. Mm. So you put yourself. Continue to respect and do whatever silently and you know, I don't let him slap you ever, no. ever. <laughs> don't turn the other cheek, no. Don't allow that, no. Women. By her conduct. It's the French here. You see it? French is very good. She gain, uh, gain without word by the contact of the wife. This is very important because many marriages were ordained or prepared, whatever, mm -hmm. and there was no... We're not going to finish this ever. Too much. What happened to the husbands now? Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife. Mm -hmm. This as unto the weaker vessel, 
and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not in them. Any comment? No. That's a word of God. I love it. We're going to be heirs together. So brilliant. Yeah, comment. What do you like about it? I love that. It says we're going to be heirs together. Like, you know, we're going to be like the fairy tale. I was telling them the other day about how the Jews were thinking, you know, don't give the, the Bible to you. You take it. Burn the Torah and give it to a woman. Burn the Torah. You thank God that he is born a Jew, not a Gentile, not a slave, and not a woman. That's the Jew mentality. And he burned the Torah and gave it to a woman. But Peter say that being held together of the grace of life, so she be here, she will inherit the eternal life with him. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, this is another dimension. But here the problem is that your prayer will not be hindered. Yeah. You go, give me glory, you know, to provide for my family. No. Why you don't want to provide for us, your children? Because you don't do right with your the spouse, the wife that I gave it to you. Did we read that? Wait, what? Let me find it for you. Use, let's find use. The wife of your use. Yeah, this is important here. It's only one time that he talk about marriage as a covenant. Yeah. It's not only a contract, and it's not a deal, and it's not uh, whatever, it's a covenant. Anyone want to read? Oh, okay. Where would you like this to is only in Malachi. And this is very powerful, horrible thing that men should never attempt that. And read. Uh, the Lord has more? Malachi 2.14. Yeah. Yeah. That's Malachi is the end of the Old Testament. So there is two things God was very angry with them, but this is the second blast. So I'm angry with you, number one, because of that. Number two was another subject. Here is a subject which made God very angry with men. Men, I mean like humanity or whatever. Uh, so the Lord has been witness between you and the, the wife of your youth. She the wife of your youth. She is old now, but she gave all her youth to you. She's the wife of your youth. Now you're old, she is old, but you want to have another young one. No. No. No such thing. You know that the Muslim give um, a contract of marriage per day for one night? Legally on the Quran law. It means pleasure. Marriage for pleasure, even for one night. They write the word, I make marry myself to you. She signed, he signed. You probably don't know about those things. No. He me. married her for one night. Instead of fornicate or did you say adultery, don't do that. But they have a signature consent. So she going to come and say I'm raped or whatever. Does, oh, so That's does legal in the Islam law. Is is they sign together. Oh. And it's considered as a marriage. Okay. And marriage for pleasure. This is the word in Arabic for it. Gawaz muta. Muta means pleasure. Sorry, you look so it's offended. Not, <laughs> so he found the wife is a bit old for him, not giving him the pleasure that he wants to. She's preoccupied by life and things and mm. hormones and children, mm. grandchildren, working mm. here, working there. He got tired too, yeah. but he still have his imagination very active. This is more mm. active than the, the, the makeup of his old body. Mm. That's the active imagination that man um, is blessed by. All right. Continue. Um, the wife of your youth. The wife of your youth. She is your companion and your wife by covenant. See? By covenant. Mm -hmm. I never knew that why marriage is a covenant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. When I heard it the first time, I said to, to them, was, my sister was telling me I signed with Jesus. I said, what? You saw your wedding with Jesus? I didn't know that. But I was just thinking of it and I didn't have a Bible verse to, to go with it because every verse should be for every idea. No matter what is good, look like good. Yes, but yes. if it's not Bible, don't swallow it. 
Good, but it's not swallowed. The Bible is, you don't, you don't argue with it. Right. So she's your companion because he given it to her in the beginning to be helper, companion, joy, share together life, share together experience, share together suffering. I was telling my husband, do you remember when we, this happened to us, when that happened to us, when this happened to One night we were stating, you know, all the difficulty we face in life together. Mm -hmm. And the beauty is togetherness. Mm. We face this. Mm. You know? Yeah. So life together is the beauty of mm. the marriage mm. and the companionship. Mm. We didn't know what was going to happen to us when we packed our bag, when we went to this. When, yeah, we're, we're going to go to prison or they're going to kill us or whatever. Mm. We had a lot of things happening in our life, you know? Mm. When my husband was standing in the news, you know, and his finger like this in front of the prime minister of an Arab country. And the guy on the aeroplane, he said, oh, you're very lucky that you are in the plane, not <laughs> send the box to your family. And we face a lot of things together, you know? And this is life. No matter what, we hit each other together, you know, woman and husband, but that unity that God put together. And we, if you understand the concept of marriage and how God is doing it and how Today I said to my husband, you know what? <laughs> this is one trick I discovered. Don't take me to those things and I don't know where we get this argument from. I'm now very focused. You're not going to drag me into a conversation and end in argument. And you don't remember what was the beginning of it. So now I'm going to focus exactly what I say, what did you say, so we don't go in argument. You know? I don't want to have fights. I don't want to have argument. I don't want to have that heaviness. No. I'm preaching the word and you go get me sad before I... Why? I'm very alert. I'm not going to let you drag me into this. You said that, I said... And, and you don't forget. Isn't it that what happened to you guys sometimes? Yeah. And she hurts you, but why, why we reached that level? You don't even remember. Well, usually men or whatever, or women, some of them just keep the things who hurt them and don't remember what they said to the other party. But probably hurting more than hurting others. So continue. Um, which verse? Where? 15. And did not he make one? Yet had one residue of the Spirit, and where for one? That he might see a godly seed. What's a godly seed? <coughs> the children. Mm. Godly seed is your children. Therefore, take heed to your spirit. Sorry, and let not sister. none. Read, read, Misha, read faster. Uh, therefore, take heed to your spirit and let none deal treacherously against the wife of his youth. For I hate divorce, says the Lord God of Israel. He who divorces his wife covers his garment with violence. Mm says the Lord of hosts, so guard yourselves in the spirit and do not break faith. Oh. You okay? I'm very out of the picture. This is all on me. It's wrong. So I don't know what treacherously into your English language mean. Treacherously. Uh, you know, like with intent, with cruel intent. Yeah. Bravo, this is a good word. Mm. Can you give me a bit more? Deliberate? Yeah. I don't know. Yogdor mm -hmm. mm -hmm. this is a very powerful word. <laughs> and he get advantage of cruelly. <laughs> and don't know. Very nice. Get advantage of her. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. And the word is say that the Lord is the witness. Sees all. Hmm? God sees all. What is he the witness to? Everything. Is the witness between you and the wife of your youth. Oh, okay. He is witnessing. So if you think, oh, you're going to go and tell them blah, 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 and people will believe your story, the Lord was there and he saw you. Hmm. Be very careful. Can I say to the woman something who hear me everywhere? If your husband abuse you, 
put the mobile in his face mm -hmm. and say, I'm recording you. All right? Don't get abused. Don't. And I'm not going to report you, but one day you're going to see this and you're going to ask yourself why this cruelty. Do it to your husband because you want him to stop that behavior, all right? I'm recording you and put that in front of him and see what will happen. You're going to be mad more, but it's good. You're going to think about it. No one is supposed to be abused. No. All right. We get into this. Yeah. Because the last verse on the green, guard yourself in your spirit and do not break faith. Yeah. What do you mean break faith? You're not believing anymore right mm. for me this is one and one equal two this is straightforward mm. you don't want to go for twisted if you get divorced you lost your eternity mm. i know that you're not gonna like my preaching i don't care but if you dare after this to listen to this and try to deal treacherously with your wife you're losing your eternal life you like it, you like it. You don't like it, then like it and don't lose your wife. What's the and he's saying here, guard yourself in your spirit. Do not break faith. But break faith. You break, you're losing your faith. Yeah, but people can lose faith and get faith again if God is No, no. What do you mean? There is only one outlet. We're going to go to the verses now if okay. we... But because there is many subjects we're talking about. But if we're patient, this is going to finish this year without finishing it because it's too much. We have to talk about homosexuality, you're going to talk about divorce, you're going to talk about abortion, uh, abortion mm -hmm. and masturbation and a lot of yeah. things. And it's all in the Bible. Bible talk about everything you can mm -hmm. imagine. The problem is no one want to talk about it and no one want to see it. And it's very clear to the, 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 the blind. Let me talk to you about another side. For me, the husband who break that law of marriage and go and divorce his wife, he has to be thinking of himself, will I go eternal life and find myself in? Probably he wants. So and I warned you, listen to me, whoever listening to my teaching. Don't think it's okay. It's not okay because it's going all America, half of them or 75% of people divorce. No. It's up to you, you're playing with... Um, what about the woman? The same thing apply for the woman, but the woman who divorced her husband, there is verse like that, you're gonna go for it. What happens if the woman is a victim of her husband divorcing her? Or yeah. like a victim of the circumstance? And cause we're gonna talk about Okay, we'll get Yeah, because right. we're gonna talk about the marriage and the divorce in, in an item full. But see here is the yoke that they put together. <laughs> this is yoke together. So that's why he said, you know, don't get yoked to this unbeliever and whatever, probably all familiar with wow, this. Wow, that's so beautiful. Do you like that? Which one you like, the right or the oh. left? Mm. Which one is the female here? I'm so funny. You like see? It, yeah. Oh, everywhere I go, I see these things. Female. You see what? I see things everywhere <laughs> I go. I, just... <laughs> I want someone to read this to me. Yalla, Yalla, yalla. yalla. Because I'm going to tell you about the woman who said no to her husband. I will put that. I All right? Know, no, submit. I didn't know my spiritual leader was a false teacher until I started to carefully read the New Testament for myself. I wasted years and a lot of money supporting lies to the harm of others, including myself and my dear family. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that was someone the, else. Oh, Read Tanya. No, Sorry. I didn't know that was. I didn't know that was in the Bible. Why didn't someone tell me? I know. I now. I know now. My marriage is actually adultery. Why did Pastor marry? There is no remarriage. There is no remarriage. There is no remarriage. You cannot remarry again unless you, your spouse died. Oh. The only way out of marriage is death. No way out of marriage. So I'm just trying to say here, I don't want you to hear that we were doing, you know, all this, you know, teaching and whatever, and someone say, you didn't tell me or you didn't tell us. Mm. We are not here uh, registered church, whatever. We are friends who speak the truth and, and, and read the word of God in a very uh, more detailed way. But let me go for this because it's a small subject about this woman who said no. So this is all about where, uh, where is she? You don't like my teaching, huh? 
No, I have questions. I know. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> What's your question, Misha? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I like this one. I want to show Only you. Only difficult this. questions, special to you. Huh? No personal questions. This one, this one I want. This one. Right. This one. Yeah? What's the question? No, 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 later. We'll get to the <laughs> no, no, tell the me content. the question because I think of it. Well, I know people that have been divorced or right. whatever situation. Yeah. And then God's used them in a mighty way and they're, they're so close God to God bless the them. So I'm just curious. God bless them. That's my answer. Thank you. But what do you mean by that? God bless them. All right. Plenty of people think they are in Christ and whatever and they're breaking the rules. Yes. Yeah. The base rules of life. There is no relationship outside your marriage. Pick your husband carefully. Pick your husband. There is no out of marriage except the death of the spouse. Mm. If you want to finish, terminate a, a marriage, fine. You want to victimize a person who really gave your life to you. You want to do that and you're cruel. And like we said here, preciously with the wife of your youth. You want to go into all that? All right, do it. But there is no remarriage. No, no, not remarriage. You're going to stay celibate. Celibate? What is the word? Celibate. But you know how you said and, or, and she will have to. You're going to stay you without it? sex, without relationship, without marriage the rest of your days. But you know how you there is no remarriage. I'm not saying because what God put together, no, no man, man can, can separate. Can yes. How can you separate yourself from a marriage was done under the law of God and He blessed you? Yes, that yes. wedding was done by Jesus. Yes. Who are you who can? I have questions. Break this. You can't. I have questions. I can't have a question. They're living in sin, darling. They're living in sin. I, they live in sin until they <laughs> repent. Repent. Don't you know that the people in uh, Ezra, and, and, uh, is it Ezra, the book of Ezra, they were married outside the covenant of God. You know what? God commanded them to dream, uh, threw them away. They threw all the women which were not from uh, Israel. We can read that. That's very cruel. There is no remarriage. If you have a wife that you took out of marriage, you threw her away according to the word of God, not according to Susie's uh, craziness. No. Ro go read the ch last chapter of Ezra. They push them all out. Read the word. I don't write it. I would do more mercy, but I can't because he's full of mercy. He knows what he's doing. Let me ask you a question, hmm. question by question. Do you think God can have two women? Do what? Two women. No. Two women do what? Can he marry two women? He, God two cannot do that, though. No. So why you want men who is on his likeness to do that? I'm why not. is this acceptable? This is the beginning of the corruption. We start to say okay for marriage and remarriage and da 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 da. We said okay for the abortion. We said okay for the homosexuality. We said okay for. We break all the rules of God. Mm. Where is the rule of God who is not broken? Show me not... from the Ten Commandments. <laughs> Aren't you killing someone when you're angry with him? So even don't kill you already did it. What is the law that we didn't break? legally on our nation and we vote for it yeah come on guys you want to read the bible you want to change yourself and be crazy like i am according to the word what is written is what you live with it doesn't matter if he's a pastor and has a second wife he is a fornicator or adulterer <laughs> adulterer yes. Yes. Okay? Yes. He's an adulterer. Don't follow him. And so if you're not married, that's If you have a husband, yourself. why do you yes. think there is marriages who suffer, Nisha? I'm equally yoked. Or, or maybe God wanted to show the vessels, yes. his vessels. Huh? He has vessels of honor and vessels of Hawaiian. What is Hawaiian? I don't know in, in English. The precious vessels and the yucky or the ordinary vessels. So he's going to show the yucky, the ordinary vessels, how the perfect vessel resists. Yes. After all this, God is just yes. and he's holy and he's pure, right? So it's not because the things has been low for many years, it means right. Jesus came in, let me ask him the first question. That's Jesus, that's not me. While Moses told us when someone uh, divorced his wife, give her a book of divorce. He said, that was not from the beginning. That was the reaction of Jesus. He said, there was not in the beginning. There were wife and husband 
children. Did he say that? I bet you that he was screaming. This was not from the beginning. He created the men and women. On his likeness. You do not know the secrets of all those things. If you know the sacrament, and what sacrament? It means like it is very sacred. That's it. You know? And you do not understand it. You make the sacred you, you um, it. common. Common, common. That's the word. Don't make the, co the sacred common. Because America ruling the world and do her own laws. And we're okay, we're numb. Aren't we numb during these two years with homosexual? Are we not afraid of them and talking to them? You know, I stand in the street, in the not even in the beginning. And I'm there, whatever, and it's okay, no one is answering or whatever. And then when, you know, on the time when this law was coming, I was da, 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 da. And I start to preach about, they all come out of the holes, like rats or cockroach, whatever. And they start to photograph me and, and, and put the, the, the camera to record me. I am not afraid. I preach the gospel, I cut. And when my time to go, I will go. My children are already given to God. I'm not gonna be threatened by them, you know? And you will go through the same trial of Abraham. What you gonna do with your son? Will you give him to me? Yes, I will give him to you, Lord. Yeah. This is a trial we pass around. I'm gonna tell you the story of the Bible. You're gonna live them in your own life. In your own life. You're gonna go the story of Moses, the story of many of the life of the Bible. You will live it for yourself. Mm -hmm. Then you know that that word is right. When God come and said to me about my son, would you give him to me? I said, please not. And I cried and whatever. Well, now I knew the heart of the father. You know, God will take you to the same places of the altar. <laughs> you're gonna be on the altar. Sorry, Nisha. No, if fine. you're angry with me, I'm sorry. I'm not angry with you. Because in the end, you keep <laughs> thinking of what you want to think. But I want to share no, this I because of the time. Okay, you can go. Yeah, say. No, no, I said it at the end. So you're going to miss what you said. No, say. But very, if it's too long, quick. I will leave it. Yeah, that's, that's, I respect that. So it says, Ma and this is just a question. I don't, I'm right. not saying I'm right. I'm learning. So it says Matthew 5.32. But I tell you that anyone who divorces his wife, except for sexual morality, makes her the victim of adultery and anyone who marries a divorced woman commits adultery thank you so my question is when it says anyone who divorces his wife except just take that sentence you know put it between brackets remove it and read the sentence again but I, because all people who are divorcing now they don't divorce because of sexual immorality no, my, my no, they divorce no. because they are lustious I don't know if this is English word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their heart are full of lust. Yeah. And they're old enough, you know, in oh, an age flesh. that don't have even sexual ability, but their head is full of shit, of the lies of the devil. They think that they're deprived because this woman is old or whatever. And they're more men and more capable of. Take that sentence, put them between brackets. Because I yeah. myself went to, through um, the best friend that we had. He went into this and I was just like, no, no. I pray, I cut myself, I did everything for him. And the day that I discovered that treacherous, treacherous, uh, yeah, that, that passage of the scripture, oh, mm. why? She was good. She was not the perfect, but what she was doing was not really a reason for you to do this to her. So put please that sentence between divorce and read it again. 100% minus 0 0.000 whatever, it's not even 99. So what? They divorce for the for the the adultery. So who divorces his wife except for sexual immorality makes her the victim of adultery. Okay. So when why he make her victim of adultery? Because the, because, because she's divorced. So I'm trying to I still don't understand my like, uh, question. I'm trying to ask. Yeah, ask. Says, so but I tell you that anyone who divorces his wife except for sexual morality, makes her the victim of adultery. So it's, can someone divorce his wife? Like, so if someone divorces his wife other than sexual immorality, it's a sin because there's adultery there. But what happens when someone does commit adultery or does, you know, they're, they're caught cheating and things. If he divorces her, it's, she's not, the, she is, um, because it was for sexual morality. All right, this is called annulation. 
when the, the reason that to take him out of marriage but this is not right even mm -hmm. we're going to talk about that subject in too much detail because there is few verses we put them together okay, and read. So but yeah we're going to speak okay. about because we have those big topics we talk about the remarriage and the divorce and all that but let me tell you this because it's a small story mm -hmm. which i liked and it's not my thought in it but i like what was written anyone know about abigail mm -hmm. Abigail, she in the Bible? she's in the Bible, she's the wife of David, the king, no, all right, because this is very good story for women, and I want every woman around the world to hear this story, so can you read quickly, or can I tell you the story, what happened here, there was uh, David living outside when Saul the king was after him, so he was like uh, running away, and he, um, gather around him few of the solid men which are like terrorists mm. you know so they were living in the desert and all that and there was a guy called Nebel 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 and this guy had a lot of properties and not properties mean fish uh, sheep and, and all those things and they were protecting him on the desert right mm. but then the time the time when they cut the the wool of the sheep and he went and asked him him to bless them with something because there are many men mm. he said no who are you why should I do that you aware of this story mm. yeah so what happened next David is very powerful, he's strong, he's like a gangster now, and he has like 400 men or 600, I don't remember, gathered with him, and they're all powerful swords and whatever, they're mighty warriors. Remember the story when they said the soul a thousand and, and, uh, and David 10,000, and make the heart of him jealous. We're gonna talk about jealousy, because jealousy is a big topic in relationship with husband and wife mm. relation. So what happened here? The wife heard that story and the wife is Abigail the servant came and he said your husband unwisely did that to David he's gonna finish us what Abigail did honor her husband submit to her husband the word submit is very humiliating if I say submit you do this you know it's very 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 unused un uh, and carefully used because when you it's like you're forcing the the, the, the will of the person so it's not really a very pleasant uh, word even for anyone like if i said come and submit to me yeah. i'm gonna teach you everything i'm gonna teach you the art of whatever and the science and the arts of eyes and would you like this to you do you like it huh I'm gonna teach you the Bible, come and submit to me. If I wanted to learn about it, yeah, sure. You submit? Yeah. You submit in there, cool. Like the word is very is hard. Not, the word is there is element of slavery in it. That's it. So that's the ugliness of the word. But if you come and um, and I will teach you, you know, if you under my cover, whatever, this is like ah, I'm covering oh, okay. you. I'm protecting you, I'm giving you all my experience and there can be a better word, but I don't know. That word is irritating. But anyway, it's in the word of God, so it's not my opinion. Yes, it's wife, Right. So what happened here? The Paul, he said, submit to your husband. Uh, and we're supposed to rev uh, revere. Do you know the word revere? Respect as a leader, you know, reverend, revere him. This is very good word. We don't use it. We have to have that reverence when you come before the Lord. We call it fear sometimes. It's not fear of being afraid and a negative feeling. It's the, uh, reverence is like, and you say to the pastor, whatever your reverence is. It's very honorable word, you know. It's like there is a respect into your heart, into this. But this woman, uh, she went and she said, my Lord, that's what she said to David. Mm -hmm. My Lord should not pay attention to the wicked man, Nabal. Mm -hmm. 
That's her husband. So she called him wicked. And she said, don't worry about what he said. He was not wise. And the bell meaning fool or foolish. I don't know if this is right because it doesn't come from the same origin. So this woman, instead of defying her husband and saying, she said negative things about her husband. Um, but the Bible is like commanding her. Let's go and find the word defying. Synonym for it. Because this was just making me really, you're serious? You know the word defy? What that mean? Yeah. Yeah. Into this. Repelling. Yeah. Challenge, yeah. confront, mm -hmm. disobey, yes. rebel, resist, dare, flout, disregard. Which one of this? Disregard. Huh? <laughs> All of them bad, huh? Mm -hmm. Did she submit to her husband? He was unwise. Do you think God agree about her decision of being disrespectful to her husband? Go tell the guy who looked like a terrorist because he was not king or any title on the time. Mm -hmm. And she wants to tell him, don't worry about him, he's foolish. Don't worry. Um, so what did um, David recognize that Abigail was sent to him from God? And he said to her, Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, who has sent you today to meet me. Thank you, Lord, that you sent this woman to me today. Because yes, tomorrow I was planning to go and finish this guy. How dare him doing this? He was an outlaw anyway. He's run away in the desert anyway for many days. What can stop him? He was a killer anyway. He was killing thousands. Mm. Right? Yeah. May you be blessed for your good judgment. That's the word of David to her. Mm. And for keeping me from bloodshed this day. You prevented me from going and bloodshed me killing that man. In fact, Abigail is an ideal wife. Because she got the judgment and the penalty of death from her husband and diverted in her own good word to create a situation the, the outcome was better way life outcome not death welcome do you know what i'm talking about no you you look like not here uh, i don't understand Bob. you don't understand the story he, he asked david asked them to help him because he was cutting the shaving the the sheep Give us a blessing. It means give us some food or whatever mm -hmm. because we've been here defending you. And they, the, the servants tell him, yeah, they were defending us. So it's like that you, we guarding you. Give us a, a blessing. Food, whatever, any kind. Sheep, whatever. Mm -hmm. He said, no, who are you and why should I give you? Uh, David was angry and the people around him and they want to go and finish him, kill him. The wife knew the story and she went and took food, you know, like resin uh, uh, sultanas and things, you know, dry food and mm. bread and whatever. And she took and met, um, read the story. It's a good story. And it's in First Samuel 25. Uh, she met David. She bowed to the, the ground and she gave him all the, the honor that he deserved. And she said, don't worry about my husband. He was not wise doing this. And, uh, and he, he said, oh, God sent you to me because you've protected me from bloodshed. I was about to kill him. So God, uh, uh, he, uh, give him honor. So she didn't submit to her husband's stupidity. Was he stupid? No. No? The husband was not stupid? Oh, the husband was stupid. He was an arrogant. Yeah. And, and if you're arrogant and you don't have power to protect yourself, then yeah. be humble. That's it. You know? But the arrogance take you to nowhere. Yeah. Um, and she protected the husband and his interests. Right. Do you think the Lord approved her doing or not? Because it's not about my story and it's about not, you know, the Lanark story of Hollywood, whatever. What do you think the Lord did to, did he approve or disapprove the, the work of this woman? Approved. He approved by yeah. which way? Approved that she didn't. God, God. God approved that she didn't. How did he approve? In a very, very serious way. This guy died. 
week or two or ten days or something and he died. Husband. No jokes. God, no jokes. Die. Natural death. So God approved the wisdom of this woman and then later on in time David took her and he married her. So there was I didn't write this passage, all right? That's not my thoughts, but I approve it that much. Because, you know, you can see sometimes what they do as husband, and, and you can see the wrong, you can see the danger, you can see what should, oh, submit, okay, okay. No. This is an approver from the Bible, then that man was he calling him fool. He was unwise. Mm. This man going to be the king of the future. And the prophecy and everything knew about it, and mm. every heart on Israel was for David. It was just the time that when time come, uh, Tanya, when the time will come, he will be coronated as a king. But the time has to come. Right? Time has to come. So here is the church has faulty idea about submission in marriage and the preaching. Da, 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 da. How many times you heard about the story of Abigail in any teaching? None. Zero. None. How much about who do of you heard about the story of the lady who crushed the head of the king of the Amorites? No. Which is exactly the fulfillment of the prophecy of Genesis 3. Mm. Who of you know that story? Zero. How many times you heard about it? Zero. Mm. We're going to read about it next time or another mm. time. Mm. This is a woman, she mm. got her, the things and put it into the head of the king of the Amorites. It's exactly the prophecy. The, uh, uh, he crushed her head, you know, and no one preach about her. No one know about her. You know, like women never took the Bible out or the men were da, 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 and we, okay, okay, Are okay. You about the enmity? Hmm? The enmity in the Genesis that... Yeah, it's yeah. exactly, I, I have a preaching about that on one of my, I, I it found was, it with pictures for you because thought, it's very good. I thought um, God is talking about his son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will yeah. So yes, I, I didn't I disagree. Yeah. But when you have a story which typically happened that yeah. she crushed the head of the devil, okay. of those, like yeah. Yeah. yeah, no one talk about it. Mm. But everyone talk about Mary mm. in a wrong way. Mm. Not as Mary, who her son crushed the head of the devil. Yeah. Mary, she's the mother of God and whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So they talk, talk about the wrong way to, about women mm. they all hate women and suddenly all they love mary i don't understand this for me i know the bible that's all i know mm. and unless the bible is in your head whatever the bible says right whatever the other people don't say as the bible are wrong you mm. will live un unsure about things but god gonna turn your head yeah, yeah. because he jesus said to them you are clean because of the word that i spoke to you mm. you're clean mm. So the word of God will come and flush all the rubbish of the world, Nisha. Yes. All the rubbish of the world. Amen. All the opinion that we're living in either mm. the Western society or mm. whatever. Yes. I really, really wanted to tell you about this because I'm sure that I will never come to that story again. This is a st story of jealousy. What happened here? If a man doubt about his wife, we talk about covenant and we talk about mm. this woman of jealousy. If the man think his wife is, is, is cheating on him. And he bothered him. Oh, she looking at some man and whatever. And he get crazy about that day after day. Then he go to the priest and say, listen, I feel this woman is cheating on me. She is an adulterer. And he said, okay, bring the wife. She will come. This is story in number five. Go and read it. Okay? Number five. You should probably read it, number. I read it, but I you read the story? I didn't focus. Really? Yeah. This is a good story. Maybe so what? Not married, so that's what I not the whole one. Yeah. The book of number. It's number four or five of the four, maybe. Four or five. Right. So what happened here? He bring the people around, like you can see, and all of them. Okay, exactly the story of on the time of Jesus in John eight when they brought this woman who was caught in adultery, right? They say, Oh, if she's adulterer, you know, and caught into the act, where is the man? Mm -hmm. Where? 
How can yeah. she be caught in adultery? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There is another story which called Susanna. There is a book called Susanna. Yeah. Yeah. And that's not into the Bible. It's on the Apocrypha, Apocrypha. which are the added books. And this woman, she was, you know, mm -hmm. false uh, witness about two of the the elders. They said she's adulterer or whatever. That was all lie. But God protect her. So it's not even witness. They said that she was caught into the act. Where is the man? Where is the man? Where is the man who was caught with him in the act of adultery? So it's not the witness of people who saw her doing the act. No. They caught her into the act of adultery and they let the man go. Probably it was a big rebuy. Or, I don't know. Anyway, the story here is the man got crazy because of his jealousy. He got mad on her and she may prove or disprove that she is faithful or she is not. So what will happen? They get water, holy water, clean water, and they take from the um, dust of the temple and they stir it up and they give it her to drink. If she was an adulterer, her stomach should swell and she will die. And she has to put her hair down if you can see in the picture. She put mm -hmm. her hair down, people are around, they witness to her. She swell, she die, she was an adulterer. She don't swell, she don't die, she was an innocent and he was a crazy, uh, excuse me, mentally affected guy. This is the same thing they do it for the guy who break a vow. So this happened to two people. He, he put his hair down as well and he drink of this water. So why is the reason of me bringing that topic? Why husbands are jealous? Most of the time is husband jealous. It could be, of course, the wife is jealous because there is a secretary, she's young and beautiful, whatever. It's the same thing. But why person, uh, but the more uh, serious when the hu husband is jealous because really he can do harm in the wife. So, where there is few stories here, when she, um, uh, the spirit of jealousy, we call it exactly the spirit of death, bring death. What happened to Cain and Abel? He was jealous that God accept his worship. Why you don't worship like him? Was God donating the things to God that was an act of worship? Why you don't worship like him? You get jealous and killed him. Jealousy produced death. No jokes. When there is jealousy, there is a threat of death on the life of the couple. No jokes. They have to talk about it and get out of it. Otherwise, someone can get too crazy and kill the other. Um, when they are insecure about... So this is when they are insecure or jealous because of the worship or the religion or the manner you love God and I'm, I don't like it, I don't approve it, whatever. Very dangerous. Second one. Did you finish? It's two words and I finish. All right. The other one, when they are insecure in their position, so if they live, you know, in, an, in a place where he, she is working, she has a high title and he is yeah. not working, whatever, that's very bad, very yeah. bad for the marriage, very killing to the mm -hmm. marriage thing. Mm -hmm. right. So yeah. what happened here when they were dancing and mm -hmm. saying, the women said, oh, uh, Saul slain thousand and David slain ten thousand, jealousy hit mm -hmm. here. And he was after him all the time. Da, 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 want to kill him all the time. Jealousy, death. Spirit of jealousy produced the death following. Because um, it, it invites all the other demons, the anger and the wrath and whatever. Mm -hmm. You compare yourself and... Mm. Third one which is very dangerous as well. When you get jealous and angry with God, mm. me, jealous and angry with God, what do you mean about that? Do you have a story? This is in Matthew 20. When this guy who came and worked in the first hour in the market, and he said, well, uh, go and work and I give you dinar. He said, okay. And then the third hour and then the fourth hour. And then the 11th hour can come. Why are you sitting here idle in the market? Do you know that story, Misha? All right. There is a story about a man who was, uh, had a vineyard. 
and then he went into the marketplace to bring people to work for his vineyard. Oh. So he went into the first hour and said, who wanted to work? He said, me. He said, all right, I'll give you dinar. He said, okay, went to the, and worked. And then after another hour, third hour, 11 hour, means they're gonna work only one hour. Now when God start to give the reward, the one hour he give me jinari, and the one who take all the hits, he say, aha, uh -huh, I'll probably get better. He didn't get better. I say, why? Have you ever heard about the evil eye? Yeah. What is the evil eye? Like the one eye? No. It's a blue eye. It's a blue one. All right, that let's read the, the evil shops. eye in the Bible. <laughs> it's the evil eye. <laughs> you don't know about the evil eye. Uh, all right. But he answered one of them and said, friend, you, you see the highlighted one down? Yep. Mm -hmm. I do thee no wrong. I didn't do anything wrong to you. Didn't you agree with me for a penny or for a dinari? Mm -hmm. Take what you go and is uh, go in your way, and I will give unto this last one whatever I like. Is it not lawful for me to do what I will with my own, with my own? I can do whatever I want with my money. I told you I give you dinari. Take the dinari and go. See the rest of it. Is it your eye evil because I am good? Have you ever noticed that word? Mm. This is the evil eye. Not the blue eye, whatever, as we think. Mm. Your eyes is evil because I am good. Wow. Jealous from God. Mm. And then he finished it by saying, the last will be first and the first mm. last. Many are called, but few are chosen. Amen. Did you get that principle, uh, Misha? I lost you. About the eyes. Don't worry about the eyes. Here, the guy was angry with God, was jealous about or that unapproving the, the judgment of God. Mm. You see? So here, jealousy is very lethal. Do you know the word oh, lethal? Yeah, yeah, you're saying Lethal, that... it means very poisonous. It will bring death. No jokes about it. There is jealousy, there is a byproduct of it, which is death. Because he thinks it's better to deserve more from God, but God said, no, I'll give you yeah. the same. And he got jealous, and it's he's angry at God's judgment. Yeah. How God treats. So you get jealous mm -hmm. of your spouse, or you get jealous of God, whatever mm -hmm. you disagree with his judgment. Mm -hmm. Why did you give that sickness to him, not mm -hmm. to that person? Or why did you give this? Things like that. So the subject of jealousy is very important. Mm. It's like someone take recognition more than you mm. or being complimented or, uh, you know, and, and you look at him, why not me, and start to have bitterness mm. and all those yeah. feelings. Yeah. Yeah. They it's are terminal. Mm. Terminal. Mm. They're going to produce death mm. in the relationship of marriage or any relationship. Mm. So we ending here today. Thank you, Lord, for being among us, thank speaking you, the word. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, thank you for giving us the grace, oh, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm. Yes, Lord. So, generally speaking,